Hey, there, there we go. go. What's going on, everybody? Ah. DJ Go Ham Clutch Simulations on somewhere, and then a VF is definitely down there somewhere. We got we got virtual farmer in the house today, and he is wearing not one, not two, but three <laughs> articles of merchandise. Was there three? <laughs> I only saw the two. Yeah, you got the zip up with I the shirt on the inside. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, uh -huh. I, <laughs> kind of I could I could have worn the socks. I could have worn the socks as well. <laughs> you <laughs> had to have proved it. That's the thing. <laughs> so what are we up to today? Well, We've got some uh, some cool mods for you. We're going to talk about our top mods this week. I think I have like seven or eight, but they're all really cool. Clutch has got some really neat what? PC mods that I've never heard of before. And uh, <laughs> we're also going to talk about some upcoming mods, which I forgot to put anything down there. So I'm going to make it up as we go. Oh, I can't wait to see this. <laughs> this is going to be great. <laughs> uh, we're also going to talk about uh, TNT and the future of Bucks County and things like that. Yes. Oof, that hurt. I don't know. Bennett, Bennett says we're boring. Aww. Aww. Really? Yeah. Well, I, I can't okay. that. Good, Bennett. <laughs> Guys, I hope you enjoyed today's really short live stream. If you did, drop a. <laughs> just like, oh, no, that's the wrong way. I don't even want to be here right now, man. I'm sorry. That was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Michigan Jack Red with the final Super Chat. What's up, man? So, um, you want to see Farman? You're in the wrong house. Bennett, go check out somebody else for the rest of the day. We'll be back for him on, on Monday. Uh, we just got the news today. <laughs> we just got the news. And the news is Virtual Farmer is selling things on Teespring right now. You can check out I everything have... right there. <laughs> 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 What's up, Ben? How are you doing, man? Oh, boy. Uh, should we should we do the thing and then get into the thing? We didn't even tell him what we were doing today, did we? No. No. <laughs> no, I didn't see him react to stuff. <laughs> Roll the intro. All right, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Favorite time ever. <laughs> you need to fire that guy. He keeps getting worse and worse every week. <laughs> Oh, I love that intro. I so good. <laughs> that is just um, brilliant. Do it so go off of the drum solo. Man, I just keep forgetting slash don't have time. I have, I have a second channel now. <laughs> oh. cringe, cringe intro is cringe. <laughs> oh, Bennett, you're good, man. I'm, I'm just messing with you, Bennett. It, it's all good, man. I'm sorry. <sighs> so. Where do you want to start? <laughs> We'll start at the bottom. Yeah. Are we up since we didn't even make it halfway down the page last week? Uh, <laughs> so post QA or question answer one hour before. Sh what time are we starting today? Um, <laughs> About three uh, minutes ago. Three, no, four minutes ago. <laughs> was the all right, so, so I'm a little bit. All right, so I guess we're not doing any Q and A today. Uh, moving forward, <laughs> now we got Virtual Farmer in the house today. VF, how are you doing, Virtual Farmer? I'm part one. I'm doing well. I'm things things are going well at the moment. I'm 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 on a roll and I'm happy about it. And part two. good. Part two. Who are you? Who am I? Uh, right. So for those who don't know, uh, I started making um, uh, farming simulator videos back in uh, May 2016. Uh, I've mainly did stuff. Uh, I've mainly done stuff over on YouTube up until about a year, a year and a half ago, and then I switched all my live streams to Twitch, um, and uh, I've recently made a Twitch partner, uh, and uh, then uh, I'm also a commentator for the FSL, and have been doing that since way way back when it was the farm sim championship and you had to stack 20 bales on a trailer um yeah and uh, and so yeah i've been working fairly closely with giants for about three three and a half years now so um yeah you yep. are all great great guys um v I vf is kind of like the uh the speaker of the house he has all the clearances <laughs> <laughs> and we're not allowed to do anything that he knows. <laughs> the most amazing thing about that is I know nothing. Yeah, it's <laughs> true. Yeah, we, we don't know anything. <laughs> I know absolutely nothing. 
<laughs> it was it was a little different. It was a little different when I was traveling over there. Okay, you're a giant um, partner. You're an ambassador but, to the UK. Uh, you know so yeah, so yeah, so I've got I've gone from being just FSL commentator to being uh, a partner, one of the first partners, and then and then an ambassador. Um, and it's the ambassador thing was was slightly funny in that I didn't initially reply, mm -hmm. and I got a message. Are you going to apply for the ambassador thing yet? <laughs> and I went, yes, sure, I'd love to. And uh, and yeah, and, we got uh, a, yeah. One of our channel members says hello and welcome, virtual farmer, best farmer in farm sim. That's right. Oh, if you're looking for realism, you. if you're looking for for stories, if you're looking for just like literally the opposite of what me and Clutch do, <laughs> that's that, accurate. Story checks that, out. That's the guy right there. He's the man. I'm. Clutch, what you got for him? Well, what about uh, okay? So you you started off. You're doing the FSL, obviously, right now. Let's talk about the original one because I never saw any episodes or anything you did with the original the the challenges you guys did beforehand, the bale stacking and all that. I heard about it. I never actually saw anything live. How was like? What did you guys do for that? How did how did that work? So uh, back in or oh, way back in what it uh, would have been 20, 2018? Yeah, it's just just before the launch of FS nineteen. Um, I'd got myself on a mailing list at the time for getting uh, early access to um, things like the uh, fact sheets and things like that. And an email went out uh, from it saying, um, would any of you like to come over to uh, FarmCon and commentate this little challengey thing we've got going on? <laughs> and, uh, and, and I think I took all of 30 seconds to uh hit the reply button uh send the reply yes please i want to be part of this and uh and then that was the point at which i asked my wife after that if i could go <laughs> do this it's easier um, to and, give, give us a permission uh, and it came uh, apparently they were they they got simulate and simulated said yes and and then they needed a second person and it was down to me and one other person and um and i think it was uh Reikin in in the pharmacy offices spoke up uh, or turned around and said bring virtual farmer he's nice. he's great you'll want him and uh and yeah and they brought me over far for farmcom for it and yeah. there were a few uh there were a few little uh so i think the first round had uh, someone in the region about eight teams who'd signed up uh, for farmcom um yeah. and there weren't at that time there weren't any actual um sponsored teams at all you know it was a very new thing they were just trying it out of it and the the basic idea of the game at the time was you have uh, a set of vehicles at the side of the field you have a load of rows of straw and it was the first team to bale up their rows of straw and get 20 bales onto the bale trailer in the middle of the, the thing. Man, um, and you would think. <laughs> it was, yeah. It was like, you know, <laughs> yeah, it was, it was. And, 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 and the amazing thing was that we're sitting there and we're commentating this and it's getting more and more exciting with every single game we're watching. <laughs> and uh and yeah and and as uh and they did it over several different events and the first event uh, you know people were taking quite a while to do it and the last one people were winning it with you know by a second they'd got so close and so good at doing it um and uh and then after that they asked uh, they asked me if uh, i'd like to do the fsl when the fsl fully happened for season two so how does how is your score you've obviously played a little bit of of farm fsl on your own as well how do you do on it how do you find it <laughs> i am so bad i am so bad uh yeah i i am lucky if i score around 400 points when i'm doing it it's about, um, it's about my average i'm right there with you but it's but it's so much fun i and and season three has just they've, they've taken what they had in season two and they've just thrown it up a a a, a notch and it's yeah it's now just even crazier i have not tried season three yet uh i know dj you haven't either have you that's we should do that one point we I should give it a shot i can watch it we've fun. we've been invited to play with giants on fridays they play at 11 a.m my time so 9 a.m no, I, I should jump in that'd be fun actually we should do it see yeah we should but they should also release mods at i don't know 
earlier, so I'm just going and get my videos done. No, I don't think they should. I think and it's then I'll have, I'll have time because that's when I start my mod video. <laughs> well, I, well, I want to. Um, so I like uh, in the previously I have done live streams uh, with the FSL just yeah uh, just before a tournament. So I, I think I'm going to start doing that again one. at some point. I think we do one. <laughs> <laughs> Did we collect? Come some join me. I played three times. I think we've done it. Yeah. Anyway. Anyways, um, how does so you do you used to do YouTube? You still do YouTube videos. You do Twitch now. You are a partner. Yeah. You have one of the craziest Twitch streams ever because I don't understand what's going on. <laughs> um, how does Twitch differ from or differ from YouTube? And let's say someone's a YouTube streamer, what would you convince them to or tell them to move? Or is it the right move for everybody? And is that I don't think question? it's. I don't think it's the right move for everybody. It was the right move for me because I, my, the, from day one, the whole thing that I've wanted to build around any anything creative I do is is community. So I've got my I've got the VFN, which is the the virtual uh, sorry the virtual farming nation, and basically that is anybody who is a sub on YouTube or a uh, or a follower on Twitch or is in my Discord. I think it's part of that whole community and what i found on twitch is that sense of community is that little bit stronger because you've got things like uh being able to raid other streamers right. afterwards and being able to throw your audience onto and share them with somebody else yep. um you've got the whole thing of people who are in your community can gift uh subscriptions in your in your streams to other people um and uh you've also got things like i have um so i do a lot of giveaways on my twitch streams as well and uh i've got it set up now so that people can force a giveaway of an entry into the monthly one as part of the stream and can give that to the rest of the community as well so it's it's it is it is this this whole thing of community about having wanting everybody to feel part of this and it's not it's not just me it's it's everybody who's who's around it as well That's um, so and cool. that and that but that just works a little bit better on twitch i think i, um, yeah, I agree with you there yeah you've definitely yeah. nailed it for sure i know that's um talking with a few people that has been a big reason to move over to the twitch side now of course you're still doing videos on youtube right I am. Uh, I'm back to doing seven videos a week on YouTube, <laughs> and uh, and I've started doing. I've started doing the occasional short live stream again on YouTube. Um, so I'm now. You just you just did one on um, uh, Greenlands, yes, and it was a great um, live stream. I, I want to. So what I, what I want to do is I I found recently that I've had a few bits of feedback in that i've missed stuff during my map first looks or i've or i've not looked at something close enough so i decided that that not many other people are actually doing live first looks at maps yep. so i'm now i'm now doing that on on a on a few maps on a sort of a regular basis um and the idea being again it comes back to that community thing then People are able to interact with me while I'm doing the first look. Say, "Hey, go look at this," or "You've missed this," or as happened in the last live stream, "You are completely wrong about that." Some other map, <laughs> another mapper did that months ago, <laughs> which which happens. But at least it then allows me to also correct those things live, and I don't have to put in the comments afterwards. Oh, sorry, everybody, I missed this, or I got this wrong. We can correct it as we're going through that first look. I think people accept it a little bit more as well. If, the fact that you're doing it live, they're not as uh, as critical, I think, on some aspects for sure. That's um, yeah. Doing yeah. Things. Uh, what about your Let's Plays? What are you working on right now? Uh, so uh, Let's Plays at the moment, I've got, I've got three running at the moment. I've got um, my uh, survival experiment, which is basically I started on six ashes with absolutely zero. Uh, I'm not allowed alone. Um, and the only equipment I'm allowed to lease is anything that's brand new. Well, that's exactly how I play every one of my, my Let's Plays. <laughs> exactly the same. So, but the the, uh, the thing with Six Ashes I've found is it's the absolutely perfect map for doing it. So, it, but it also it also have a certain amount of the realism experiment rules on it as well. So there are certain things I can't do at certain times, which the game will let you do. Um, and. You're I've just had a stupid amount of fun. 
and then uh i've got um i've got a role play on uh the northern coast at the moment where the character on that started in fs17 on balancraig <laughs> And there's somewhere in the region of 250 episodes to 300 episodes of that across four different maps. Um, and that's that's just insane. And then the one I've started this week is a uh, Start From Scratch series on Oakfield, um, which is, oh, sorry, Oak Hill, um, which, uh, which is uh, voted for by the community to be a Massey Ferguson farm. So we're only using Massey, yeah. or we're using as much Massey Ferguson equipment as we can on it. And uh, and yeah, and I'm loving that as well. Currently dealing with the uh, links not working. <laughs> links don't work on YouTube anymore. They broke it. So you gotta use your you gotta use your PC. You can't use mobile anymore. At least for most. Oh, of the, oh most switch of the actually switch from top top chat to live chat is what I found when I was streaming on YouTube. Yeah, if you're a little bit blurry, hey, there he is. I'm getting shots for not wearing merch. <laughs> apparently. <laughs> Big shots. So, um, here's here's one of my questions. What advice do you have some or for somebody that wants to just do Twitch? They don't want to make videos. They don't want to do YouTube. They want to get into, let's say, playing farm sim on Twitch, but they've never done it before. This is, uh, and, and I, I know that you watch the same people as I do, uh, and, and this piece of advice is absolutely don't just do Twitch. If you if you want to make it on Twitch, if you want to <clears throat> if you want to um, to get viewers on on Twitch, you need a, a second way of getting people in. So that can be YouTube, that can be Twitter, that can be Facebook, uh, Instagram, anything that has uh, a level of discoverability to it. Because Twitch has none. If you just go onto Twitch and you stream, uh, you'll stream to nobody and you'll be right at the bottom. And and no one will see you. Um, yeah, just just post out on on Twitter or, or post a picture on or do, or do a short tick a short TikTok. I know so many mm -hmm. Twitch streamers now who are doing things like um, doing short time lapses of their Twitch streams and putting it out on TikTok, getting discovered there and pulling people into to to Twitch that way. Interesting. Yeah. I feel like um, but, I feel a little bit old for TikTok. Not gonna lie, I I, I may have signed up to TikTok and then currently trying to work out how to, to get stuff onto TikTok. I, to I mean, I, I, do, I do I do most of it. I have a I have a Twitter. I have Facebook. I have uh, I have Instagram. I and YouTube. You know, um, I because I want to get myself out there. So that's pretty cool. You you seem that's like you know all the things like if there was one person in farm sim that you just wanted to watch you get literally everything mm -hmm. i feel like you're the guy it's my my biggest challenge is that a lot of people come to my videos and say you've taught me this or i've learned so much from watching you but if you go if you have a look at the thumbnails or or uh, the video descriptions or anything like that it doesn't say it's your tutorial and I tend to teach as I'm playing. And I think if I'm gonna make a change, I'm I'm gonna do more of the tutorial stuff and make it obviously tutorial stuff. Yep. Um, because people say that to me all the time. And it's it's an opportunity that I know I'm missing out on. So well, well, let's talk about the uh the virtual farmer studio back there. I know you've recently made some changes. It looks pretty good. <clears throat> I did. Uh, so this entire room, in fact, uh, that wall and that wall disappeared last summer. <laughs> this this entire is, area is got down water? Down. And uh, and yeah, I still don't have a door. That's what that black void is behind me over there by the telescope. So and uh, and yeah, I don't have any shelves or anything. So at the moment, I just have this pile of rubbish <laughs> behind me. Um, but yeah, the eventual plan is um, to uh, I, I I call it going for all Philip DeFranco. So, um, uh, sofa, shelves, uh, interesting farm sim stuff. So <laughs> there, me. there have been lots of accusations saying that you just 
redid the walls in the shed in your backyard. Is that correct? Yeah, uh, I, I I have a uh, I I actually have a, it's not a shed emote. Yeah, but, but it is a shed, right? <laughs> no, no, this is this is a room in my house. Yeah, well, you said about the thing, the same thing about the shed. So I mean, we just can't believe you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my, tr my trouble is, I, I actually at the moment, at the moment, I have to turn all the lights off down that end of the house. Otherwise, they just, they, I just get this huge bleed of light yeah. from the left hand side. I think, I I think, think that's me uh, a, a tour of your studio uh, soon here, VF. I'm just saying. Yes, as soon as I have, I have promised. So I actually, I promised a tour of my studio when I hit three thousand subscribers on YouTube. Um, Wait, I think hold on. <laughs> yeah, yes you have I, a lot I, more than that <laughs> i i am um, i i think i'm about four uh, twenty four thousand eight hundred and seventeen at this evening's count so it's yeah more than, so, so i think i might three. promise the next one at twenty five thousand. you're just gonna keep making broken promises <laughs> well I, I, what i'm what i'm gonna do is uh in all seriousness once once this is finished and this doesn't look like such a mess. Uh, I am gonna um, do a proper studio tour because people, I, I do know people want to see this and, and the setup that I've sort of been building for the last four years. You've so. been building a pretty cool setup, man. It's been really neat seeing little things here and there change over watching the past few years. Yep. Yeah, for sure. That's so Thank cool. You. The shit has <laughs> new names. The man cave. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, it, it will be. I so the, the thing is that the um, the builder, of course, who's been doing it, can't get in here at the moment because we're we're all in lockdown over here at the moment. So it's as soon as he can get back in, I'll have a door, and then I can, and then as soon as things warm up a bit, I can start building the shelving. So maybe you just do a shed tour now, then promise the studio. <laughs> we have planned for future future content do you have anything on the horizon right now that you're thinking you want to do is there anything special without wrecking anything too too much maybe don't maybe spoil it i away? i have a massive content plan that i've been working on for about a year and a half as to what i will do when the next version of farm sim comes out so I I know uh, I, I looked at what I did when FS19 came out, what I did wrong when FS19 came out, what all the people who exploded did when FS19 came out, and uh, and I've made a, a plan as to what content I'm going to produce for the first two to three months after the first new game comes out. Um, and the idea behind that is to create content that will last for the entire life of the game. So not not just let's plays, but stuff that people will come back to again and again and again. Because um, my my most popular video on my entire channel is how to install mods on FS19. Well, yeah, it's it's ridiculous. It's like it's it's it, and it, and it's the the biggest by about 70,000 views, and it mm -hmm. just keeps getting people coming. Uh, so yeah, it's it's that kind of content. I, I absolutely need need to focus on when that happens. Right. So, so you until then, I'm going to do lots and lots of let's plays. And there stuff you go. Like there that. you go. So you've been playing farm sim for a long time. What was your first farm sim? Uh, my first farm sim was uh, FS15. I did. I had a friend who played FS uh, FS thirteen at a LAN party. He drove a tractor uh, around the map a little bit uh, in a crazy way, and then drove it into a river. And I went, "That that looks awful. Why why is how why are you driving around in the tractors? Why is this not like Sim Farm where you do the top down and you control everything? Because that that was my first my first farming simulation or." game was with sim farm back in 1993 <laughs> 93 i don't know if i was even knew what a computer was i think i just was getting ready to learn how to like eat pancakes and watch power rangers on a saturday oh. I mean, it, it might it might have been a little late but i mean we, we are talking yeah mid 90s uh, uh the most and uh, and so I came out and I was very dismissive. And then I then FS15 shortly after its release became available on an Amazon uh, Black Friday deal. 
and I snapped it up. I went, oh, you know, this is 12 quid. I'll I'll have that. It'll be uh, it'll be good fun to try it out. And then it took about three weeks for it to arrive. And while I was waiting, I started watching Landy Kids videos mm-hmm. over on YouTube. Yep. And uh, and I had uh, two reactions. One was, uh, this is awesome. Um, uh, and, and forever thankful to Landy for, for introducing me properly to the game. And the second thought was, I can do this. I can, I can make these. And, uh, and in some aspects, I know I can do it better um and uh and so that's what i said how to do it took me a year and a half to actually get myself up and running uh i mean i registered i registered my uh twitter account my youtube account and my facebook account a year before i started producing videos and then i spent a year setting everything up so making my logos, working out what I was going to do, all of that thing took, took me a year to get in place. And then I set myself an absolutely insane target of doing a video every single day. And I would say to anybody who decides to start making videos on YouTube, do not make videos every single day as the first a, thing you do. I'm a, you have I'm a professional. That. Don't. Don't try to do what I do. I did, now I'm making daily videos for two channels. Oh. As if it wasn't enough. I, d- I do not know how you t- find the time. DJ. And Let's Plays are coming back. So now we're going back to, was it 19 oh. things a week on the channel here? 19 things a week plus seven enough. on the other channel. But Can't do it. There you go. Um, no. So what are two of the biggest features you've seen change from when you started playing FarmSum to right now? Just two, don't you name three? And if you got one, I swear. Mm. Uh, are we are we talking feature? Okay, so features that changed via mods or no, just, features just for you? Like if you close your eyes, be like farm sim over here, farm sim over there. I'm a ninja. I did this. That's farm sim now. A ninja? Man, don't, don't question how I get from point A to point twelve. Uh, well, the first the first one the first one uh, is uh, seasons. The the advent of seasons in the game has has been a uh, just the biggest game changer for the whole thing and 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 the, and and seasons from how it existed in 17 to how it existed in 19 again up a whole nother level um i would say the other big change that i've seen is uh is the whole precision farming thing mm-hmm. is really recent i am absolutely loving that yeah. it is it is brings a whole again whole nother game changing setup to it that is is going to continue and we know it's going to continue for a, for a good long while mm-hmm. so um yeah those those are the two things i think that, that changed the most so those are the things that changed the most what is something you are looking forward to maybe a change that could happen in whatever the next farm sim is going to be farming simulator 21 <laughs> <laughs> it's not a real game <laughs> sorry <laughs> <laughs> I, <laughs> I, I want I, the thing I want most, and the thing that would help my gameplay the most is used equipment. Okay. Yeah. I I want there. There used to be a thing in Farm Sim in fifteen and seventeen. You would get sales. Yeah. And you could buy stuff at a discount. And when you uh, and when you hire stuff in FS nineteen, or, or when you loan stuff to do contracts in FS nineteen. It comes with hours on it and and slightly worn down. So I'd like to see those two things mixed together and able to buy a, a limited selection of stuff from the shop that has hours on it and that you will need to do some sort of repairs to to get it fully up to, to whack. Um, yeah. I now, there is a mod for that, but it's not quite the same as that for sure. I agree. Having no. like a whole yeah. set of store that... That does change with time. That uh, yeah, I think that'd be fantastic. I agree with you. And, and having so, and having stuff that sort of randomly comes up mm-hmm. means that you may not be able to buy your favorite tractor on that, but you'll be able to buy something that's useful on that. Yeah. Um. And, I, and I'd like I'd like to see that. I think that'd be good. Are you right over there, DJ? You look like you just ate a bug or something. <laughs> it's a. Uh, where's the button? I think it's this one. You don't count a plus one. Yeah, there you go. No, it's it, man. This is like around two thirty in the afternoon. I start getting tired. 
and or or three thirty. It depends on when we start farm oh. news. <laughs> <laughs> And like an idiot, I was like, oh, ginger ale, I'll grab some ginger ale. Man, there's no caffeine in ginger ale. I can't use that. <laughs> I'll drink it anyway. But... <laughs> oh. use it. Um, all right, last question. And then if you would like to stay on for the rest of the show, we highly would encourage you to because uh, we... You know more about the stuff totally, than we do. Totally totally totally. To the end of the show every week. <laughs> every week. Never <laughs> Um, where did the name Virtual Farmer come from if it is not completely obvious? And how were you the first person to get it? I, uh, yeah, so I was not the first person on YouTube to name myself Virtual Farmer. Uh, it was the, it was the name that I knew that I could go and comment on any channel or, or in any chat, uh, go anywhere and without saying I'm a farm sim channel, go watch me. Say, I'm a farm sim channel, go watch me. <laughs> um, I don't have to post it in the comment section of videos. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so it was, yeah. So that's that's what I, and I was amazed nobody had it. And the, other than the guy who had it had less than 100 subscribers. So it was a case of, I have, I have got to beat this other person to 100 subscribers to claim the URL for Virtual Farmer yeah. on YouTube. And and I hit that in four months, I think it was. I, it was. I think it was early November. So I started in May and I think, uh, sorry, six months. It started, yeah, started in May, hit it in, in early November. Um, and uh and yeah and and just secured it uh twitch was a little bit more difficult somebody had it uh when i first started to get on twitch so i ended up with two uh two names on twitch i had virtual farmer uk for a while and i had virtual farmer underscore and neither of them i felt were strong enough brand wise to to actually fully go on twitch and then I suddenly realized um, somebody, whoever had it, had dropped it. And so I snapped it up very, very quickly after that there you uh, go. to make sure that, that I, I could get it on Twitch. Nice. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm DJ Goham2 on Twitter and Instagram because somebody was a jerk. <laughs> I think uh, I had to be Clutch Sim on Twitter or something like that. I can't remember anymore. On, on Twitter, there is a virtual farmer, so I'm I'm virtual underscore farmer on there, yeah, um, and Ooh. and on Facebook, it's it's virtual <laughs> farmer TV because again, somebody got there before me. And speaking of which, just to do a shout out to everybody, there you go. There's other than it's right in front of VF's face, unfortunately, <laughs> but I'm sorry. But <laughs> Rich, Richard knows what he has to do to get that. <laughs> that, <laughs> that requires bits. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the ticket dance uh, drove my tractor to your house. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know that song now. I don't. I didn't know who the Wurzels were or what that song was or anything. But I got that memorized now. Totally. I've oh. heard it enough. I miss it so much. I remember just yeah. feeling just the you yeah. jumping into the stream yeah, and you already cool. had a hundred likes. And you're like. You guys are <laughs> awesome. <laughs> and it just makes me so happy every time you open up with that. I'm like, yes, today's going to be good. <laughs> so oh, man. Should, we, should we move on to the show? <laughs> is, is there any questions for VF in any of our in our chats? Or VF, do you have anything uh, to finish off on just about what you got oh, coming here, next? Here, here, we go, here we go. I don't know what this is about, but a lot of people have been oh, asking. So, so I, so I, somebody started asking me what was for supper, uh, on on my on my Twitch. Uh, sorry, yeah, on my on my Twitch, and it started going that more and more people asked. So <laughs> I, we've got we got channel points over there, which is basically points you get for for amount of time watching or if you give bits or if you subscribe you you earn channel points for it and so i thought it'd be really really funny uh to get people to bleed some of their channel points away by asking me what was for supper <laughs> <laughs> of course that means i get even more people asking me what was for supper every stream now <laughs> 
Um, uh, so yeah, it's it's kind of a it's become kind of a thing <laughs> as these things do. Goodness gracious! Um, so you want to stick around and find out what the top muds of the week are and oh. what happened to TNT modding? Yeah, let's do that. I'm not going anywhere for a while. In a world. Oh. In a world where TNT modding didn't do what he did, one man, 38 mods, <laughs> did release. All right, let's move into today's top stories with Virtual Farmer. He can give us two cents, three cents, maybe yep. he even has four. Uh, TNT modding is not allowed to upload oh. mods. I don't know if he's actually banned. I don't think I mean, it's been officially said. But he's not allowed to right upload now. mods right now. No, nope, not right now. Um, and it just so happened that a there was a logo on a um, a grain bin. Now this is not this has nothing to do with it actually. There was a logo on a grain bin, and Giants caught it as soon as they released it. It was out on console for like five or ten minutes. It was removed. Just you know, it's a copyright thing. Yes. Giants have to remove all unlicensed right. copyright equipment because if Sony or Microsoft come in and be like, hey, you don't own that. They get in a lot of trouble. Farm Sim can be pulled from the mod hub just like uh, Cyberpunk was. We don't earn mod hub from the stores. No, we don't so. want that. So that's why that has to be. PC, <laughs> they don't care. <laughs> Nobody's going to do anything. Um, it just is the way it is. So um, it was taken down. And unfortunately, it was after that had happened by a different person, after someone else had made a decision that he was not allowed to upload mods anymore for totally different reasons. Which just means that Box County will not be getting an update, at least that we know of. For the foreseeable future, at least. For the foreseeable future of yep. console. Now, PC players, you've got it. It's on there. It's really cool. Got it downloaded. It's a great update. Yep. Um, I'm playing it. It's awesome. It sounds <laughs> like if you check out, make sure you guys go check out TNT Modding on Facebook. He has made some errors on this. It sounds like this is on him completely. Just make sure you guys yep. go check him out. He has posted a link on on what the uh, the future holds for him. Um, it sounds like he's made some mistakes on the actual map itself. So this was not a Giants thing. This was something that, a mistake that he'd been made. So um, he's fixing it. So hopefully and with time, this will get fixed up. There we go. Actually, DJ's going to right now. <clears throat> so it well. uh, says uh, today, which was Monday, by the way, um, it's very sad news. Unfortunately, we would no longer be able to put mods on the Mod Hub until further notice. Um, again, not banned. I know I put it on the video. It's you clicked on that, whatever. This may change in the future, but I uh, think it's very unlikely. Giants by no means responsible for this. That is a big thing to take away from this. They are no uh, means responsible. Only he is, unfortunately. But that makes it it stinks even worse. Yeah. Um, it says he has poked a sleeping bear a little bit too hard, which is exactly what happened. Unfortunately, he must pay the consequences. He accepts full responsibility for his actions, which are unknown at this time. Um, and we... Um, we support his decision not to say anything about it because it has nothing to do with us, him and him alone. Um, yep. I mean, it's pretty much everything else. He says he's going to be moving on. PC stuff. It's not going to change, which is exactly what he was doing before he sent mods off to uh, uh, testing to begin with. So technically yep. nothing changes here. It just kind of goes back to the way things were. But it stinks because he's yep. one of he was console player's favorite mapper. At least I think he was. Yep. He was one of my favorite mappers. So yeah, I just had a question actually in, in chat here about uh, just making a comment about top modders making and leaving the mod hub. Some of the, the issues that we're having with that. I think yeah. every single one of these is a different issue. It's not mm -hmm. uh, it's not carte blanche on it on anything. There yep. seems to be a whole slew of different issues happening, yep. and it's kind of coming to a head all at the same time. Whether modders are trying to push the envelope a little too hard in a certain direction. Um, using stuff that maybe Giants doesn't want them to use. It depends on what it is, right? And and I think uh, if everyone just takes a breath and relaxes for a bit, we'll be fine. I, ahead, I would know. also say that there, for as many modders who have been leaving the mod hub, we've seen just as many getting new stuff up on there. Yep. Um, uh, and, you know, there's, there are three or four fantastic new mappers who I can think of who have come in even with some going so it's i don't it's it's 
from from what I've seen from from you know back in fifteen and 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 even then before pre mod hunt, you had people complaining that modders were were leaving the community. But it's it's always been a, a turnover. There's always been people who have left and and other people have then come on and 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 replaced them. It's uh, I, it's it's not something abnormal. Yep. Now this, this happens I all. I say all the time. Maybe not all the time, but it, it happens regularly. You know, things happen. Mm. People break the rules, purpose or on accident. We've all broken the rules on accident. Just, we've all done also. it, um, and uh, it just stinks. Yeah, that's what it is. It just stinks. Um, right. The thing about it now is we know about these things happening versus, you know, uh, let, let's say TNT modding didn't have a Facebook page. Let's say TNT modding, you know, we were back at FS 15 days or FS 17 days really early when, you know, there weren't a lot of people, if anybody, really digging through Facebook and, and Twitter and Instagram finding these guys. Same thing could have happened and we would have never known about it. Yep. Uh -huh. So you just have a mapper that you never hear from again. Yes. So we just, we know more now, but the thing is we want to know more and sometimes we're not allowed to know more. On the things we know about. And some, sometimes I think it's a good thing we don't know more. So some of these things probably should be kept private. <laughs> In all honesty. And I and I and I do think that, that TNT's response has been brilliant. I think I think he's he's turned around, he's he's held his hands up and gone, This is my fault, not not giants. And and I really respect him for that. Because yep. it would be so easy to to turn it around the other way and 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 blame them for it. And, and we yeah. have uh, over the past two months, we have seen multiple things similar to this happen um, for, as you mentioned, different reasons. Um, and not to not to downplay anybody else, but this is the best way that's been handled. Hmm. For sure. Yeah, I would agree with that completely. Hopefully, it doesn't happen to anybody else. That's yeah, what's the monthly uh, Coca-Cola budget? Just to break the ice a bit here, I've got a question. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what? I missed that. Oh, what's, what's, the, what's, the, what's the monthly um, Coca-Cola budget? I That's... don't know. My wife does the shopping. What about this credit one? card? <laughs> Anyways, there we go. Let's move along then. Fox County uh, not coming back to console anytime soon. It sucks. Yep. Yeah. It could, but not right now. Things, yeah. things will have to change, but don't worry. Um, I would say TNT modding has been very um, transparent with a yes. couple people. Um, he has asked for privacy, and we shall be giving him whatever he uh, requests in this, you know, regardless of what it would be in this case, especially. Um, things may change in the future. We'll be keeping you updated. I promise. I promise. And if I don't talk about it, I mean, there's no new new information. New about it. Like Nothing that. new. <laughs> Let's talk about some fun stuff. What's up, mods? Farming Simulator 19 for the week. week. Well, the last two weeks, I guess, because we technically didn't. <laughs> yeah, last. we didn't do this part last week. <laughs> we got to this. We got to this last week. Um, Griffin, Indiana. Everyone's going off about Griffin, Indiana. It's hot. It's so hot right now. It's new hotness. Uh, where is that? Boom. It's the goodies. Griffin, uh, Indiana. I, You're not. I, I have not had a chance to start up anything on Griffin, Indiana. Uh, DJ Virgil Farmer, have you guys started anything on this map? I, I you have, really I don't have, watch my channel, do you? I don't. <laughs> I have. I have not downloaded it. <laughs> hey, that's us right now. <laughs> there we go. Hey, look at us. I've I done. I, the, my, my thing is, I don't tend to look at a lot of the American maps. Then I'm the other way with the European maps. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I, I have a lot of people two streams that are about six hours in total and you over here asking me if i've played it yet oh yeah i have seen something of griffin indiana because i watched dj <laughs> stream <There> you go. <laughs> it's it's a cool map man it it's, some of these buildings there's some buildings on here that they're like modded but they're not really modded it's it just man they take up like 60 or 70 slots these little buildings like each and they're yep. just modified base game stuff. So if you're on console, just delete them. Delete them immediately. Um, you can set up your own farm. I've seen some guys on PC. I've seen some guys on uh, console that have shared screenshots of their maps of this. I was actually hanging out with Lane Brown last night, 4B Gaming. Um, he's built an incredible map here. Also, mm -hmm. precision farming. All of these are like plus 110 or more percent 
Oh, really? On the fields of uh, for the uh, sand or the soil type. Or that. So, I d- I do like that it's got some nice, um, funny shaped fields or strange yeah. shaped fields. Mm-hmm. And the the higher up here you go, the higher in elevation, farther down south of the map, lower the elevation. It's kind of cool. So it's uh, a, definitely a nice looking map for sure, and available for everybody, which is fantastic. Yeah. Well, we'll let VF talk about the other great map that came out this week, Greenlands by Peter Seven Sixteen. Oh, Tell us about man. it, man. This this is a fantastic British map. Really, really good. All of uh, he's made all of the animal pens and things at the main farm placeables. So if mm-hmm. you don't want to do a particular animal on there, you can you can remove those. Uh, it's the views from that main, the main farm sort of sits on the top of a hill. And so if you walk to any of the the bits around the edge of it, you look out over the valley and it's just brilliant. And he did something which, uh, all of those houses you can see along there, the windows are transparent and the indoors are modeled, which I thought was the first time. This was the thing that, that I thought was the first time any mapper had done it. And it actually, apparently it's something that, uh, Greenbale, first did yeah. um on um on uh, greenwich valley and it is just yeah it is just a fantastic looking map there and all the fields are odd shapes man. which i love there's a lot of, <laughs> it's such there, a, British there's a map. lot of hedges there man holy yeah every field at least that i can see is is inside hedges it's really yeah. cool man, it's a really cool okay. um, oh, that, man. are the hedges deletable uh, well, no. with the H button, they are. With the H button, okay. Probably. Are they, are they actually? Because I hadn't tried that. There's because yeah, some okay. maps. Unfortunately, Bessie beneath you can't delete the hedges with the with um with the map object HUD hider. Okay. Or, uh, match object hider mod. Yep. Um. But uh, yeah, normally the ones that you can drive through, you can remove. So I think this is drive throughable ones on here. Yeah. Whoever made this video did a really good job. It's just, it's yeah. Whoever that, whoever that was. Whoever that was. He's showing the wrong video. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Here's another one. Man, this is so cool. Do the Big Bud 450 by HG Mining. <laughs> the top comes out. I do love the edits you can do with this. That is so cool. That's fantastic. The amount of detail he put into this, man. I'm telling yeah. you. So now you've got matching uh, uh, 16 V747s and. The 450. And they both have Midas tires or Mitas. Whatever. I don't know how to say it. It's Midas, isn't it? Yeah, sure, yeah. And Mi- look at this. Midas. Yeah. I always say Midas. But then I keep pronouncing stuff all wrong. It's got that's triparinos on it. Yeah. Triparino. That's not a word. That's, that's not a word. Triparino? So, that's not a word. I just said it. A good right tractor for, uh, for Griffin, Indiana, then? <laughs> I think that would be a decent one for Griffin, Indiana. So that's a little bit big. Maybe a little bit big, yeah. It's still not bad. Field- It'd be a good tractor for the south end of the map. There you go. There you go. I like it. It's great. Um, um, it's interesting that we have two big buds in the mod hub now, though, isn't it? I don't know. It's kind of funny. We, uh, so the other ones are giants, and then these are both yeah. by JHH Jeep Nani. Yeah. It's just also, oh. great storm right here. Get that. It's so cool. 1050. Well, do you want to talk about... You know, we're not gonna do it. We'll do PC mods and stuff. Keep going. Keep going. Yeah. I won't talk forever. The 6R by Blue Organ Modding, one of my favorite tractor modders, uh, is here. If you live in the U.S., if you don't live in the U.S., if you just want a 6R and you're like, I want to go with my tractor. The American 6R. It's like, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> it just looks good. Blue Organ does a lot of really nice. good stuff. Yep. Included. Oh. I mean, here's everything that they did. The Massey 57 that just came out, the 76. They also the, did... Um, I like I'm using that. that's that 76. I'm using yep. that on Oak Hill. Yep. Um, using... And the T7, I think one of his T7s I'm using on yep. um, uh, on uh, yeah. Bessie Beneath. I mean, and they, they are just some fantastic tractor models. Yeah. This guy just They're kills really it. really good. Yep. I got nothing else for that one. I like it. It's, yeah. uh, it, it's good to have I... all platforms, that's all. I like this one. I really like this one. What's I know that? it's a trailer. Hear me oh, out, all no. right? Hear me out. Is this another plow? No, but it's a trailer. <laughs> you to talk about Get out of my house. <laughs> what are you talking about? All right. I, I don't know. Three meter plow in your house plow. started this video. Come on, YouTube. Just do that thing where you play the video. 
right. No, nah, no, nah, we don't care about that. Come on, let's this go. Is, this is what we care about right here. What? Is, oh, okay. check this out. I haven't even looked at this yet. Oh hey, wow! Hey. Oh, that's it. That is nuts. That's it's on all platforms too. It's 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 cool, but it's kind of cringy. <laughs> no, it's, yeah, it is, but it's so cool because now this opens the door and be like. Well, I want my workers to do everything now. Uh, they need Gurdon. I'm sorry, I can't do it unless she's involved. It's just uh, awesome. It's just it's just a trailer, but it's so much more. The modern did such a good job with it. I am I am looking for a flatbed. Oh, what what's what's that though? I, 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 I do push mods to the limits. That is also what I do. So that's the uh, the Hopper Multi BTT. Yes. And I, actually, I actually love that he's um, given it a fake that's... brand name. Yeah, I saw someone posted that. That's that, rather than Lizard, he called I it. Agree. I like the that. Hopper I like and... you guys do that. Um, a good idea. Quick mentions: the buggy cart. Yep, it's awesome. Yep, <laughs> that messed with Cy- It is pretty fun. Cyber Quad. <sighs> Jose, how did you get this out? <laughs> how did you get this through testing? <laughs> so funny. Um, and then <laughs> today <laughs> we got something that's oh. definitely going to add to uh, <laughs> my content on YouTube and make yeah. things very easy. I love that picture of you. It's awesome. <laughs> oh, where's the maze? Is it out here? No, that's the Zader. You should also get that. It's a really nice tractor. The maze. It is literally. I tried making a maze. A maze. No, it's literally just a maze. I know. I tried with a, to- with a lid on it. Yeah. I know. And then the lid pops off, but you can't jump. You can't get any higher, so you have to actually like raise your camera view. Oh. You have to use the. Uh, you can't fly. Yep. In and out of it. And it's going. So, lose- the, so the the start is starting yeah. the maze, yeah. and then you can't get out of it until yeah. you. Check this out. It, this whoever made this video should go oh, flying here right. in a second. But I want to do this with like you guys, the trucker Matsy, like the best maze runner in farm this- sim or something like that. <laughs> Something stupid. <laughs> it's just it's amazing. Goggle pop. Amazing. Oh, yeah. Boo. Boo. But wouldn't it be Boo. hilarious if Boo. there's no way to complete this? I was just thinking about that. <laughs> you like, just get stuck I, in it forever. That's what I would do. And there's a basketball goal up there too. Like right here, oh, there's a man. basketball goal at the end. And you just hear him. You're like, you guys, you, you seen <laughs> DJ? And you just hear in the background, buckets. We are my good. Oh yeah, there's a there's a uh, giant software award as well. It's I mean, we, we've I think that's, we've all that's, got one. That's what that spot on the wall there is for. Yeah. So these are yeah. these are these I'm, are for I'm modders. Hung mine yet. These are for modders, but we actually like have them. These are actual yeah. mo- ones that you get from people. I think I've got one sitting right here somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, that's all I got. I don't I've got two. <laughs> There you go. Yeah. You can get out. That's where you got. <laughs> <laughs> I never got my red one. They were just like, all right, you're bronze partner now. Here you go. Oh, but I want the new one. Wait, are you silver partner? Me? You loose, you no, 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 no. No, no. I'm, I'm, I'm a double bronze partner. They sent me two bronze partner ones. I want two. <laughs> I've only got the red one. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, remove that one. Boom. Um, should we go into some PC mods? Let's go to PC mods. I don't know nothing about them. Uh, uh, now, speaking of somebody who's in here, Crawford Farms, virtual farmer, you've done a you've done a tour on this, right? I did. Yeah. This I've got is it uh, up right now. Actually, let's bring that up. Canadian uh, map. It looks good. What do you think about it? Do you have a? Uh, I I I really quite like it. It's um it's a great forestry map. It looks pretty. Um, and it's Canadian, which is kind it's, of up right up my alley. Um, so this this oh, was sure. uh, it was first out in uh, FS seventeen. Yeah, and I remember. I, I, like, I, I like. kind of drop a like. Oh yeah, we go. do like. Let's that. do that. Let's like. Do that. Um, <laughs> uh, so I was gonna um, I was gonna go and watch my FS seventeen video before yep. I did the first look, and then decided not to. It looks uh, better than the FS seventeen version. It is. It is. Uh, yeah, it's nice in the FS seventeen. Uh, version my my only comment and uh and actually the the creator dropped me a comment and said yeah i understand what you're saying um yeah. and uh and and thank you very much for the the first look yeah. um the the whole map looks brilliant and i love it uh the only the only place i felt it was missing anything was in the forestry uh in the in the forests themselves 
Okay. Where it's it's mean, a right? little bit bare. I'd like yep. to, a few, you know, bushes and things about. But as a, as I said in the review, that to me is a, a minor thing. Um, the rest of the map is is yeah, really nice. I to like be it. honest, it looks good to me. I'm 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 down to give it a shot. Uh, especially like Nova is Nova Scotia, I think, or is it New Brunswick? Let me just double check. I can't remember anymore. Uh, North American based, East Coast, just East Coast. You're down in the description. I can't remember yeah. if it's New Brunswick or Nova Scotia. But anyway, I, th I th think it's out. Brunswick from from what people were commenting. Yeah, I, th I think um, that sounds right actually. Anyways, the, the Canadian map, I am definitely down for that. Um, another one we had that came out last week that I meant to talk about. Let's see if we can find it here. Where is it? Let's find one of them. There we go. There we go. Uh, Four Lakes by Stevie. Uh, this one was done. Ah. Uh, he's done some other ones. I played Lakeland Vale. was another great map. It's a it's a standard size 2x map. Uh, let's bring this up. There's the PDA of it. He's got a bunch of nice pictures. There's so many nice pretty pictures of this map. Once again, you can check that out on Farming Simulator Mods or just type in what it, FS19's Four Lakes. I believe you'll find it now. Um, a nice looking map as well. A little bit smaller size compared to a 4x, of course, but uh, it's pretty. It's so pretty. Look at all Stevie does nice maps. He does. I've, They're I've, much detail and they run so smooth, too. He, yeah, he, he really works to, to optimize them as much as he can. And and I played a, I played a couple of his uh, earlier on in the game. And uh, and yeah, they're, they're gorgeous maps. Yeah, so the one, I think the one I ran was uh, Lake Land Vale by him. And a uh, really nice looking map as well. It just, uh, it's all fictional areas he tends to do, but uh, they're just really, really pretty maps. Um, let's move along. The JM Grain Cart we were supposed to talk about last week, we never did. The 1151. I don't think I have that anywhere. Do I have that anyone? Do you uh, have that any chance? Did you? I don't think I do. <laughs> I can pull it up. I'll move along. Let's go. We can, if you can find it, pull it up. But that's right. by JHHG. Uh, currently only for PC. I think that's coming to console as well, isn't it? The one, yes. One, five, one. Uh, yeah. The, so it's just like the grain storm that he just dropped. Yeah. Wait, the 11. Is that the, the 11? 11. Is that custom modding? I thought it was JHHG. It might be custom. Maybe it's custom that's doing that one now. Off custom the top is of doing some cool stuff too. <laughs> Those two guys, the, the JHHG and Custom are always doing new stuff. And new stuff coming up. Them and Sid Mining both support each other as well. Big That's thing. Big I thing. always forget Sid. You're right. Uh, there's nothing new on the. I haven't heard anything new on the X9 yet. Is there nothing new on that? Um, I just added some stuff this week. Just, yeah, I think. It was, but I don't think it's been posted yet. Has it? He's just been updating. Yeah, he's just working on it right now. Yeah. Uh, but while well, you're looking for that, we can talk about JMF modding, which has put out some uh, some kind of cool things. Let me see if I can find those. Which one was that? Boom. JMF modding? No, that's it, right? There's part of it, actually. That's by, well, Dennis Farms actually posted as well. Um, so he's got three mods out this, this week. One of them was, well, this uh, this Badger AJ, AG Bagger. Uh, there's an Acon Bagger out there. He's kind of rebranded this one and updated a little bit. And I kind of like baggers. They're kind of cool. It's something we don't see a lot of in farm sim. So I'm going to post. I'm going to definitely pump this up. That's for sure. Uh, so an AG bagger he's made. That's kind of cool. That's out. Let me see if I can find the rest of these ones. I don't know why I lost them. Uh, there we go. This is what I was most excited about. A high dump trailer. I don't think anyone's made a proper high dump trailer yet. I don't know. I could be wrong it's on looking that. Looking good. This is one of the ones for silage. I have not seen too many people make a high dump trailer. So we finally got a proper high dump trailer. I got to give this a shot later on. I think there's one other one that's more European style, but this is North American style for some silage and some corn. Yep. So uh, that is cool. And it goes great with that. I think that's the JNM truck he's got right there. It's like the perfect size for it. I don't know if it's going to fit with every single trailer that's out there, but uh, if it's something that's a little bit lower, you can use it with for sure. So that was cool. Man. And what was the other one that we had on him? There was three mods that came out this week from him. So the bagger, and then he's also got this uh, this auto load hayloft. So it's an auto load hayloft with that, so it loads on automatically into your into this barn. Look at the amount of bales you can stick in this barn. This is That's crazy. Awesome. <laughs> so I I need to test this. <laughs> he says in the description it's a little bit finicky still, but I I mean if this works the way the pictures look, this looks fantastic. So I don't know if anyone's had a chance to try this yet. Placeable auto load hayloft. Um, give this a shot. This looks cool. I want to see how this all works. But anyways, he put three mods out all this week. Uh, he's going kind of crazy, man. That's awesome. JMF, nice, nice work, man. Well, that's uh, that's what we had for new nice. PC mods listed. Unless anybody else wants to talk about anything, DJ or virtual farm. I have yeah. a few things. Nothing. Not a zero. Yeah. Zilch? No, I have a few things. Can anybody help me? Can yeah. you hear me? <laughs> what do you got? 
Uh, oh, yeah. I should probably share my screen, huh? Look at this. Hi. Right. Cool. Real quick. Uh, the X9 comma is still being worked on. He's working on um, the... Well, he's going to have some headers that are coming with it. He's also got different versions. The 1100 is going to come with a uh, large tank size. You can do 25,900 liter capacity. <sighs> Wow, really? Dude, I have I have modded combines that I haven't modded to be that high. That's crazy. <laughs> um, That's nuts. Is looking good. Custom modding is just literally killing it, regardless of what they're doing. Um, as you can see here, we got more Dimco okay. stuff being worked on. Uh, they are working with Dimco, so Dimco has sent them all the stickers, all the the proper colors, everything to make these almost like as That's close to possible yes. as could be. Um, they're working on the 22 series now, which will be um, 1100, 1300, 1700, and 22. I'm still waiting for that case planter. That was what I'm. I'm still excited. I'm, I can't wait for that they, one. They are working on it. JA Modding is uh, working on one as well. Yeah, it's really cool. Um, one of the Brazilian guys. Uh, I'm, I'm keeping an eye on all these American mods at the moment because I want I want <laughs> to pick new stuff for when Nancy Boy's new map comes out. Yeah, it's going to be in the American life of farming, based in Ohio. It's going to be sweet. <laughs> oh yeah. Yep. Um, they are working on their JM green cart right here, the 1151. Nice. That's um, what I was talking about right there. That's what I was looking for. That, that's a nice little green cart. And 3D thing. tracks as well, right? Yep. Custom 3D tracks. Yep. Um, Ada Monning wants to hear from you. Check out his uh, Facebook page and go to announcements. Here you're going to see a thing. He's talking about the old Jim Massey pack. Um, some things had been done with the old Jim Massey pack that I don't think were up to par. Once he got them back from being finished, um, so he's having to redo a few things. He says, do you want the tools different, or do you want all the equipment, like, right there? Yep. <laughs> he's right there. Hello, hi, me. <laughs> so <laughs> go over there, let him know. I'll be honest with you, um, I'd rather have a separate pack. So, Ada, just do that instead. Don't listen to anybody else. Um, Black Sheep Modding, Rayboard Xylor. Nice. Coming Good. back to Farming Simulator. I, I forgot about this. Yeet uh, that's be is good. the word yeah, yeah. to use here. Nice. Yep. nice. Plowing feature. Tree be gone feature. Yep. Bush be gone feature. Yep. It be mowing. It'd be creeping on the trees. It's going to take everything out in front of it. Uh, unfortunately, Plowing here, feature. Here's a little bit of a... Uh, might be a problem. Okay. Might be? So, yes. Okay, so this is the what the base is. The Lieber 622. Well... Here they're talking about a bucket. And you'd look at this and say, well, these have got to be wheel loaders, right? But up here, their connection is saying Libra 622. I hope this is not a proprietary connection. If you could look yeah. kind of right here, I'm not 100% sure. I just don't know. The problem is, the thing is, I could just message them and find out. I should just do that. All right, I'm just going to do that. No, normally... <laughs> When you have that on there, that doesn't necessarily mean it has to connect right. to that. That's but, just the suggested but I, but, connection. But I'm scared. It's like worst case scenario, bro. Oh man, yeah. <laughs> um, and then one of the things I'm most oh. looking to do, and the last thing I've got today, leave me alone, DJ. Um, <laughs> International 46 series by White Bull Modding. Um, they, they've got front three points, back three points, two wheel drive, four wheel drive, enclosed cabins. You can see right up here at the top right. It's a, not covered. It's like a cage. built has like a roll cage. Uh, I mean, can, I, did, I want these. Can yeah. I have these, please? I want, I want that one. <laughs> I'll have so, the cap one in the middle, but I, I want these. Yeah. So, yeah, um, that's that. That makes me real excited to play Farm Sim right there. I I've got a couple of maps all coming for PC. There's one coming for PC right now, and then we got a couple that might be hitting the mod hub soon. Uh, first of all, for PC, uh, D Dennis Farm is working on an update to Autumn Oaks. If you haven't seen this one. Uh, this is an update from a map from FS17. I don't know if it was for 15 as well, but FS17. Uh, so Dennis has done a couple other. I think he's done some other maps too, hasn't he? I don't remember which maps he's done, but anyways. Update coming for uh, for 17. It looks nice. Nice looking farm. It's going to all in, of course, it's in fall because it's autumn oaks. So uh, custom cow barns. Looking wow. good. Uh, it looks so pretty. I think that's... that's there we nice. go. There's the main farm. Yeah, it looks good, doesn't it? There's some North American farms for sure. Um, and then we also do need to talk about a certain uh, a certain CAS 64. 
who is currently pushing out uh, some new maps. Oh, I just realized I have the wrong screen up. Can we uh, there, there. Boom, can boom, we boom, talk boom. about the progress of that? Yeah, he has said it is past PC testing for Mod Hub and is going into console testing right now. So we've got two maps from him that are going to console testing. It's almost a farm, uh, 2x, as well as Rustic, Rustic Acres. Acres. So wow. I don't have I don't have the screenshots of either of those in the 2x form, but if you've seen them on PC, uh, if you're on PC, go to uh, Papa Smurf Modi. You can check out both of the maps on that site and uh, take a look at what they look like for PC at least. They are downsized versions. They are 2x versions made for console that hopefully will be passing soon. And hopefully we can see both those fantastic maps over for console players now as well. So Rustic Acres, almost a farm, 2x versions coming for console potentially in testing right now, hopefully. It looks like uh, he's gotten emails back and everything is, is going ahead. We'll see what happens. Um, things can change for console, of course. Man, they've always been 2x. A good point. Never mind. Well, almost a farm's 4x, isn't it? Almost farm 4x. I'm looking at old timer Dave right now in chat. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I know none. I played almost a farm. I could have swore it was four X. Maybe I'm I'm losing my mind and I've played too many four X maps. I and think they were old timer Dave. He's in the, I think the original one. one. <laughs> yeah. uh, but yes, hopefully coming for console soon. Fingers crossed, guys. Fingers yeah. crossed. I am excited. So, what uh, you guys got going on other than us holding Virtual Farmer back from starting a stream? <laughs> That's right. I got half of that. Yeah. Apparently, I'm losing my mind according to Newell. What are you guys up to this weekend? Anything fun? Farm sim related? Not farm sim related? My yep. wife just bought a house. So we've got to go and sort that out this weekend. Wow. <laughs> New shed? <laughs> no, no, no. This so one's being rented out. So, uh, yeah. So we've got to go and uh, sort that out and get that ready for a tenant. And on Sunday, I think we're going to go for a walk somewhere. Because we're allowed to do that at the moment, but not much else. <laughs> okay, you guys are like really, really locked oh, down. Yeah. Is where over yeah. here, not so much. We're in between um, here, I think. Uh, Where do you guys? <laughs> we can do I'm, whatever I'm, we want. It's uh, it's now. my first ever Minecraft stream tomorrow night. On Let's go. Are you gonna fun. beat Minecraft? Are you gonna you gonna get the Nether thing and do the thing and be? I. I have, uh, for, the, uh, for those who uh, know the guys on my channel, I got, I got Ortho, who used to, um, We're the Lowe's. Uh, used yes. to live here. He is, uh, he's he's uh, very big into his Minecraft, so uh, I think very he's got bad. a couple of ideas that... Uh, I haven't that talked to him in like a year and a half. Oh. <laughs> it's been a minute. So, What exactly is the Twitch streamer team, Rob? He's asking... VF, if he thinks joining the, tw the Twitch streamer team is important. I think joining the right Twitch stream team is important. So like at the moment, I am part of two stream teams. Basically, basically, when you get partner, you can create a stream team. Okay. Um, and it's a way of uh, streamers uh, on Twitch supporting each other and, and pushing the craft. So I'm, I'm currently part of uh, Scuba Doobie's uh, Scuba Squad. And uh, Red Dirt Ranchers, um, uh, Red Dirt Rough Riders. Um, and both of them are great. Both of them, uh, all the members support each other. They raid each other. They, you know, they'll they'll give shout outs to each other. And it's, yeah, it's a really good pair of uh, teams to be part of. Nice. Um, so, yeah, I, th I think joining the right team is, is, is a good thing to do. Clutch, what you up to this weekend? Anything fun? Nothing crazy. Probably go do some skating with the kids. Got some ponds we can go skate on at least. And uh, mm -hmm. we got a stream tonight. And that's about thrill for the most part, my friend. Nice. Yo, what do you got going on? I uh, got a buddy of mine. Um, business, actually, my DJ business partner when I was in college. Um, he is coming up to visit this weekend. It's a surprise. A couple days ago, he's like, yeah, I think about coming up to the mountains this weekend. Can I stay with you? Yeah, sure. He called me last night. He's like, yep, I'll be there. I'm coming tomorrow. So um, one of the cool things is he is a photographer for a major university here in North Carolina. So I'm having to bring all of his goodies, all his gear, because he knows way more than oh. I do. <laughs> and we're going to get him to record at least two videos on the new channel. Not only that, I got my new microphone for the new channel, a.k.a. my fourth microphone for that setup. <laughs> <laughs> 
You got a new. Uh, it goes above your head, so you don't know it's there, but you don't have to see this anymore. Oh, that's ridiculous. My mic's I'm coming. You can't see my mic. I know. <laughs> but you can tell it's out of the shot too. The mine is. The, I'm messing with you. Yeah, yeah, it's 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 yeah. Put it. Put it right here. This is the best place. <laughs> oh, that's the trouble. I got the wheel here. I got the the keyboard there. If I put the mic there, no one will ever see me. I'll put it there. No one will ever yeah, you see can just me. boom it in from this. Yeah, here. I'll use the micro uh, maraca for reference. Just like boom it in like this, so you could still steer. And every time you turn right, I... you get hit in the face. <laughs> <laughs> I would totally draw pictures for you, DJ. Just saying. Um, something tells me you're going to do that anyway. You're going to yeah, go back to this like time it. stamp, which is definitely not 10 after the hour. Yep. <laughs> oh, so, anyway, so he's coming in. So I, I've had to cancel the uh, channel member stream for tomorrow. Um, but I haven't seen him in two years. So I'm on real world this weekend, and we'll be back to normal on Monday. Sounds good, my friend. That's it. That's all I got. Well, we, we'll see everybody tonight. If you want to join me, uh, we'll be on my channel, of course, uh, hanging out. I don't know exactly what we're doing yet. It might be a member's stream. We'll see if we get some people in there uh, and hang out and break more things. But if you guys want to come hang out, come join me. It should be inter interesting. I don't know if that's the right word. We'll see. There you go. Be up anything before we take off, brother. Uh, I uh, Yeah, I will see um, those who... Join my stream in a little while because, uh, yeah, I'm going live this evening as well in 20 ish minutes. Do it, I'll come over and say hi. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Um, cool. yeah, so I go go back on the realism experiment today and, and, that's uh, and hopefully go get some seeds in the ground. So that'll be good. You, that'll Sweet. be on Twitch, that's correct. Yeah, yes, yeah, be on Twitch tonight. So, um, excellent. Uh, yeah, there you go. Well. I think that is it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for everybody watching over on YouTube, watching on Twitch, watching on Facebook, watching on Instagram live, watching on World Star, wherever you guys are. World Star. Wow. World Star. It's where you'd like throw a brick into the air, yell World Star, and then like <laughs> do -do -do. I, don't, I don't I didn't get it. Um <laughs> podcast one as well. Click the link over on my side. I gotta give you the link, DJ, one of these days. No, I don't want to know anything about this. I just want to keep pretending I don't know about it. Because I actually don't. I'm so disappointed in you. <clears throat> Thank you. Just disappointed. Appreciate it. Uh, cheers, everybody. All right. <laughs> See you guys later. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Thanks, folks. <laughs> The Sim Show. Whoever made that should be fired. Promoted, you mean, right? Promoted. Promoted. That's from Sim Show intro. Ever.